It is Field Trip Friday. We're here at Luke Air Force Base showing you off one of the gems that we have here in Arizona and having such a huge base, this is where the magic all happens. We're looking out and uh, out, kind of getting a bird's eye view from the tower this morning. And this is where it all happens, where they put the planes up in the air, make sure they land safely, and depending on how many planes they have at one time, making sure everybody is safe. We are joined by uh, Airman First Class Zachary Sullivan. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And really, you have lots of people always watching with safety being of utmost importance. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on this morning. Yeah. So talk about what's going on, because at any one time, how many planes can you have up in the air? Uh, well, when it gets really busy up here, we can have eight to ten planes in the sky all at one time, and all of them wanting to come to the runway at the same time. So really, <laughs> we need to make sure that they are able to do their mission safely and successfully and uh, expedite really what they're doing at the not, same time. So. Not only that, uh, you have municipal airports surrounding this area. Also, you have Sky Harbor. So you, you have a lot that you're juggling at any one time. Definitely. Right next to us, you can see on the radar screen, we have Goodyear and Glendale Airport right within three miles of us. So we have slower aircraft from our fighter aircraft that are flying right near us at the same time. Our fighter aircraft could be going up to 300 knots at one time and the slower propeller aircraft can be going 150 knots so it'd be like going on a highway. You're going 75 and all of a sudden you run up on someone going 25 in your lane so we have to make sure that does not happen with our aircraft and their aircraft. So, so how does this work here? I, I see the radar up there that's mm -hmm. more for the extended area but it, how does it work uh, where, where we see the people operating and looking out? Sure, so what will happen is our aircraft will taxi up to the runway and we'll control them all to that point and clear them for takeoff. After that point, they'll take off, contact our radar approach control, and that really covers within uh, uh, five miles outside of our, the radius from us. And so they'll control them from there at that point up until they get to the military operating areas to do their mission. And then they'll talk to them all the way back to about 10 miles to where they'll ship them back to us here in the tower and we will visually guide them into the runway safely. You said most importantly, the lingo that you, you guys use, uh, make sure that everybody is on the same page, that you don't mix up two planes. Definitely, so we basically talk in a second language in air traffic control because we need to make sure that the pilots are not misunderstanding what we're saying. So uh, for example, if an aircraft is taxiing from park to the runway, at no point are we allowed to tell them uh, the word cleared until we're actually clearing them for takeoff. That way that if another pilot that's ready to go, Here's the word cleared and they thought it was their call sign. They don't get the misunderstanding that they're cleared for takeoff, which can obviously cause you know them taking the runway when there's someone about to land. Big accidents happen, we don't want that. So we, we, we basically talk in a second language to make it so that there's no misunderstandings. Now we see a plane up here and, or is that a bird? That is a bird. That's a bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good thing I'm not an air traffic <laughs> controller. <laughs> We have this, uh, those planes lined up, they're ready yes. for takeoff. Uh, we have another one taxiing headed that direction. Mm -hmm. how, how long in between takeoffs or does it just depend on whether everybody's checked out? Uh, it really depends on when they call up. I mean, you can see the two uh, F-35s lined up at the end of the runway. They're doing their final checklist. They're checking up with uh, the navigational aids. Once that's finished, they'll call us up and ask, you know, tell us their call sign ready for takeoff, three right we'll let them go once they take off. For example, this F-35, if he's a separate flight where he's like not related to the other two at any point at all, we have to give them uh, five miles from the first flight taken off to the second one taken off if they're uh, both going at the same time. But if most likely that third one is a part of that flight, he's just joining up a little late. So when he lines up, does his last checks, these guys will call up and then we'll clear for takeoff. What happens when somebody requests a flyby by the tower? When they request a flyby, well, you know what? Uh, we've had one too many coffee spills to allow that to happen, so we don't we don't allow the flybys. That's all Hollywood stuff, right? Too, yeah, Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood stuff. <laughs> all right. Uh, awesome to see how this whole thing works. And Kylie, good thing I'm not an air traffic controller because I was spotting plane, uh, what I thought were planes that ended up being birds. So, you know, I'm a rookie. <laughs>